Today on Beauty Lore, let's talk about the beauty product that almost destroyed the ozone layer. I you know that sounds dramatic, but it actually happened. In the 1970s and the 1980s, hairspray wasn't just hairspray. It was packed with CFCs, aka chlorofluorocarbons. Just try to say that fast. The problem was, when the CFCs floated all the way up to the upper atmosphere, the UV radiation actually broke them up. The CFCs became chlorine atoms, and those literally broke up molecules holding the ozone together. Thankfully, by the early 80s, scientists were noticing this giant hole opening up over Antarctica, and aerosol products, including beauty sprays, were a noticeable part of the problem. But CFCs work! Here's the thing though, beauty companies love CFCs because they dried really fast and they gave you that Aquanet giant 80s hair. Now imagine a billion dollar industry trying to fight back against this. Maybe you think, okay, let's just get rid of them. However, the beauty industry had sunk billions of dollars into these propellants. But by 1987, the evidence was too difficult to ignore. The world came together and decided to sign something called the Montreal Protocol, and this phased out the old CFCs. Modern day hairsprays use totally different propellants and they don't damage the ozone anymore. So yes, a beauty product really did help tear a hole in the sky. And that's just one almost forgotten chapter from the archives of the beauty world.